During my time at Facebook, I came to realize a devastating truth. Almost no one outside of Facebook knows what happens inside of Facebook. The company intentionally hides vital information from the public, from the US government, and from governments around the world. The documents I have provided to Congress prove that Facebook has repeatedly misled the public about what its own research reveals about the safety of children, the efficacy of its artificial intelligence systems, and its role in spreading divisive and extreme messages. I wish I was a communist. They're so good. Let's rewind all the way. All the way back to Donald Trump's election. His, his first election. Donald Trump, uh, I don't know whether he was just a product of the times, whether he got it, whether his people got it. He was one of the first Republicans I've ever seen to use social media to his advantage and use it really, really, really well. I mean, all these big tech platforms, Facebook and Twitter and all these things, they're all hardcore left-wingers. Well, the Trump campaign, for whatever reason, they got it, and they just had this online army that was always out there on Trump's behalf. Trump gets elected president, and this is all public stuff. The big tech companies, because they're all communists, they were horrified. They were horrified. They, they looked and thought, oh my gosh, it, he used our own platform against us. And remember, they had some big meeting in Silicon Valley, Facebook and Twitter. And how can we, how can we make sure something bad never happens again? <clears throat> All right, let's move forward. You have guys like Mark Zuckerberg d donating tens of millions of dollars to various election outcome places. and Oh, very nonpartisan stuff. But everyone understood the game. Going into that election, where it was Donald Trump versus Joe Biden, big tech, they'd already publicly met about it, had committed themselves to, okay, let's, let's never let a non-communist win again, huh? Let's, let's, let's keep a lid on that. It worked. All right, Joe Biden's president, Donald Trump isn't president. All right. But since then, what you've seen is a lot of Democrats chirping at Facebook. I mean, this is not uncommon. This is Democrat leadership. You've seen it at some of the highest levels. <coughs> Facebook. If we get Facebook in line, what's Facebook doing? A daggone Facebook. What are they talking about? Why are they attacking Facebook? Facebook is run by communists. It's always been run by communists. Dedicated themselves to, to, to making sure Joe Biden won the last election. Why are you mad? It seems like you're eating your own. A couple things. Communists always eat their own. Remember that. They always eat their own. But here's what's actually going on. You can track the most popular things on Facebook. It's not hard. Now, I don't know how to do it because I don't use Facebook, but it's not hard. Apparently, a couple of clicks of the button, and you can find out this is the most shared article. This is the most popular thing on Facebook. Well, if you go do that, like all the most popular stuff, is stuff on the right. All of it. Now... The communists may be happy that Facebook made some efforts for the last election to make sure Joe Biden was going to win, but they're horrified that they don't have everything. Remember, the communist doesn't look at the world like you look at the world or like I look at the world. If you were to set, a, set up 100 islands out there, the communist storms in with his army and takes 99 of them. You've got one left. He wakes up the next morning after he's got 99 and you've got one and he doesn't say to himself, whew, what a route. This is awesome. We got 99% of the territory. This, I did really well. He wakes up the next morning and says, I cannot believe there's an island we don't have. How do we not have that island? We must destroy that island. That's how he thinks. That's why he's always miserable. But that's also why he advances so well and why he's so successful. They thought the same thing about Facebook. Okay, we got it. They helped us win an election, but why are they still allowing any content from the right? So they've been chirping at Facebook and chirping at Facebook and chirping at, chirping at Facebook. And this is why I wish I was a communist. I could never be one because they're a bunch of destructive demonic monsters, but they're so good. They're so good at this. They roll out this whistleblower. Her name's Frances Hagen. Now she was a former Facebook employee. Wow, she, she wants to testify before Congress about how damaging Facebook is. But who is Frances Hagen? Well, she's an algorithm specialist. Now, let's pause there for a brief moment. It means she controls what you see 
And when you see it, and this is hard for people like me who aren't that technological savvy to understand, so I'm going to dumb it down for you because I had somebody dumb it down for me and I'm dumb. So here's, here's the thing. When you click on anything out there now, anything out there, now your, your, your sports website, Facebook, whatever it is, there's not some set thing that everybody logging in at that time sees. You see, they've collected so much of your data and manipulated so much data out there, they're controlling what goes into your eyes, right? When you log into Facebook and a million other websites, I'm not singling out Facebook here. That's what an algorithm specialist is. She's the person sitting down, figuring out, what do I want them to see? What don't I want them to see? That's who she is. But wait, she's a lot more. She's a self-described advocate for public oversight of social media. Hmm. At Facebook, she specifically worked on a 200-person team that focused on policing election issues worldwide. Now, <clears throat> that sounds like good, good stuff, right? She's going to police any election issues. I'm sure, I mean, you're on the right. You certainly can think of a few election issues. Hang on. More, most importantly, she's a left-wing activist. She has donated 36 times to people like AOC. Oh, and this random public servant whistleblower just out there just trying to do the right thing. It's funny. She has PR people. She has advisors. Who are her advisors? The same lawyers that triggered the Trump impeachment. Oh, hold on. There's more. So who's supporting this woman? What? Wow, it just doesn't seem like a random whistleblower. Hillary Clinton tweeted out, Tech companies have spent years building audiences for fear, hatred, and misinformation. Why? For profit. Now we're all living in the information system they've helped create. But it doesn't have to continue. I think you're probably grown up enough to see the game, what's happening here. If not, this little exchange between Hagen and Amy Klobuchar will probably reveal most of it to you. So you said that Facebook implemented safeguards to reduce misinformation ahead of the 2020 election, but turned off those safeguards right after the election. Um, and you know that the insurrection occurred January 6th. Do you think that Facebook turned off the safeguards because they were costing the company money, because it was reducing profits? Facebook has been emphasizing a false choice. They've said uh, the safeguards that were in place before the election impl uh, implicated free speech. The choices that were happening on the platform were really about how reactive and twitchy was the platform, right? Like how viral was the platform? And Facebook changed those safety defaults in the run-up to the election because they knew they were dangerous. And because they wanted that growth back, they wanted the acceleration of the platform back after the election, they, re they returned to their original defaults. And the fact that they had to, to break the glass on January 6th and turn them back on, I think that's deeply problematic. Agree. Thank you very much for your bravery in coming forward. You see the game yet? You see what's going on? How brilliant it is? Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.